There are three main apps that I usually talk about on this channel, Notion, ClickUp, and Coda. So in this video, I figured I'd break down a lot of the differences between the three so you can see which option might be for you. Jumping into the pricing, uh, the cheapest of the three and what you get for the most out of these three is the free version for Notion, and then the personal pro version is $4 a month. And you get unlimited pages and blocks, so you pretty much can use all of what Notion has to offer, minus a few small things like unlimited file uploads, guests, and 30-day version history. Then when it comes to ClickUp, you have a free version that gives you pretty much unlimited options for a lot of things outside of whiteboards, and you get a lot more views when you move up to the unlimited version, but it is $5 a month, whereas Notions is four, and its business plan is also a little bit more expensive than Notions. Now, Coda is the most expensive one on this list by far, as you don't even get unlimited doc size until you get the pro version of Coda. It is probably the most powerful out of these three applications for integrations and for its ability to use buttons, which I'll get into, but it is the most expensive option by far as it's $10 a month and there's no in-between option for something like five or $4 a month with Coda. Now, when it comes to features for Notion, I'm sure a lot of you know how great it is for things like project management, documents, and overall customization, because this entire setup is built with a page that has a bunch of custom layouts and columns built into it, which unlike ClickUp, it can do things really easily. It has a slight advantage in the customization base over Coda, but Coda also has some solid page customization as well. It is one of the few applications where you can go and look at something like my business here and just have a myriad of different things that you can do. You can quickly see all the different videos that you have planned. You can see the scripts that can go along with it here. You can see that it works really well when it comes to creating synced headers that can go across an entire workspace. Like if I go across all of these, you'll see that this posting schedule is there. Whereas there is a database here that has all these different resources. But even if I go to the home page of this, you can link all of those pages into a home view that works better for you. And you can navigate throughout this system just how you want. For example, that whole layout I showed you may not be your favorite, but this dashboard may be something that you enjoy where you can just switch between different parts of a main menu and have all of your stuff on the back end stored in a database on this synced block. Rather than having a synced header that goes here, you can have it be here. You can switch between the few of them just by ticking on this and going through there. There's also the ability to have these linked views on different pages. So I have something here, which is like a weekly view of tasks, which is not an option that is default in Notion, but I had a whole formula set up, make this happen. Now, when it comes to Notion on the mobile option side of things, the widget here is insanely nice as you can have the top three favorites that you choose be here. And I made a completely custom Notion layout. The thing about Notion and its customization can be seen even on the mobile pages because I can switch between my capture inbox, my actions page, and my resources. And these are all custom made with linked database views that are easy to navigate through with just toggle headers and me being able to press something like this and being like, yeah, I did reply to comments this morning. My habit tracker's taken off and then I can see all the tasks I need to do for the day and I can see what workout I need to get in for the day really easily by navigating through the mobile page. This is the best mobile experience by far. And it's because I made it what I wanted it to be. None of this is based off of my desktop version and was completely customized by me. Now, when it comes to ClickUp, we're looking at an application that has a really good level of lists, docs, and dashboards around how the tasks you complete in your daily workflow go. It has the most different set of features as it has all these different views in here and it not only has the basic views that exist between these different tasks, but you can also have a whiteboard view. And once you get the unlimited version, you can get up to 10 whiteboards, but you only get three on the free plan. This application has a really high level of integrations as well as we can click into something like an Excel doc and preview it immediately. And it is the only one out of these that has a built-in home view that is better than the rest. For teams, this may be the best option is you can see that even me on my morning, I can see my time blocks here and see that I have a Zoom meeting with a software company that I'm gonna be working with really shortly here. And you can edit all of these different ones right here and see, oh wow, I forgot to put my Calendly link 
one in here, that's where that space was here. So I can join my different meetings really easily and view it in Google Calendar with the click of a button. And the home view also allows you to see what to do's there are for the day. And it has the only one out of this setup that actually has true recurring tasks. So if I go here, if I were to take this example captured work task and click into it, I can take this due date and do set recurring and have it be weekly, daily, monthly, yearly, days after, or a custom option here and have a recur forever. So it is going to be a true recurring task. You can even set it so it recurs when it's done or on a schedule. So right here, it's just gonna change it so that it ends up recurring when we get to that date. And it has a lot of the similar functionalities that Notion has regarding the property fields that you have and the different views you have with another level above it. And cool enough, it has a whole doc system so you can add relationships between documents, dependencies, and tasks. So if I connect this to an example document here, I can go between this document and task really easily. By clicking back here, I can go back. However, I will say the document experience is probably worst on this list as Notion and Coda are both doc softwares. I also think it's really cool how far ClickUp tries to reach as there is also an entire whiteboard system that you can use here where you can connect your different tasks within the application to other things on your whiteboard so you can get better brainstorming sessions in. Now when it comes to Coda, there's actually a fair amount of things you can do with the software and all of these different markdown functionalities that you have here are very similar to Notion but a little bit more advanced because you can even toggle between dark mode and light mode, add your different quality integrations on Coda. Coda is basically more advanced Notion from the side of things that it has more integrations and has more things that it can actually do because all the text options are the same. I can really just dis quickly display a calendar or I can connect it to a specific thing like this events setup that I already have, which is here. So that was essentially a link database similar to what you can do in Notion. And, and I could make column layouts really quickly like that by pressing slash column rather than doing the same situation that Notion has where you sort of have to do this and like drag a block to the left of it. And you can still do that in Coda, but you can't do a lot of the things that Coda can do from a integration standpoint in Notion. Right here I have a Spotify pack or integration that allows me to see my top played songs. Then just going in here, we can see that I have some recurring tasks set up here. And what this does is it essentially has a button and formula set up where if I press this task and mark it as done, and it was a weekly recurrence, it makes a new task that is set a week later, and it took a different kind of way to getting to recurring tasks, but it still happened. Unlike with Notion, where it's not really possible just by pressing a button or completing something for a recurring task to happen. Now I will mention that Coda does not have an actual application as I have a window save as shortcut going on right now with this Coda. So if I go to product and packs, I mean, this is because it's essentially on a web page right now. So if I sign in, we can explore different packs that are here and packs are integrations that you can have in Coda. There's a really high level of integrations that can be here on the pro version. You can see your events and create new events from your, your Coda doc on Google Calendar. You can see and send emails from your calendar. You have the ability to connect with Salesforce on the enterprise plan. You have Google Drive widgets. And when I say they're integrations, they actually do interact with other software. Unlike with Notion, which is a key thing to note here, that their integration side of things is not the same. So if I go to this collab meeting with Make and I go to my calendar, really quickly take this link, paste it in here, this is the integrations that Notion has. It is a link preview integration. You just see it. You don't see the actual stuff within it, like what are my top songs in Spotify or what are the things going on in my Google Calendar. So if I do paste as mention or paste as preview or paste as link, it's all different things. If I do paste as mention, this will go in there. If I go paste as preview, this will go in there. If I go in this, I can paste it as a link. So that's the majority of what you can do with integrations in Notion. The only interesting ones that you have, hopefully in the future, will be sync databases where you can actually sync something like your Google Calendar and your Notion setup together. But ClickUp also has really nice integrations like Coda has. You can actually sync your time blocked calendar setup, which is not something you can do in many applications. So I gotta give them plenty of credit here. If I go to integrations, 
there are a myriad of different options. You can do time tracking in here. You can create tasks in Slack by using the slash command. And if we go to click apps, there are different options like Giphy. There was the Office 365 option, which you saw earlier. There's a Zoom integration here as well. And it's just really nice to have applications that truly have Google Calendar options. Like if I drag on this, I'm actually going to be able to set something on my calendar that goes right next to my real Google Calendar setup. And, and my verdict on this whole situation is the fact that Notion is the most customizable. And if you have personal use with a little bit of team in there, I would go with it because the pricing is great and it's fun to use. If you're looking, looking for more powerful features, go with more ClickUp or Coda. And if you're going for a team that is a larger size, it's much cheaper to go with ClickUp. And for Coda, I would recommend it for people who really want to have that high end use. And it does not matter what price point you're looking at. The $10 a month across a lot of people will add up. And that's why I want to point out, like if you have 10 people on ClickUp, it's going to cost you 25 bucks. If you have 10 people on Coda, it's $50. It's twice as much. And even for Notion, ClickUp is cheaper than it when it comes to team pricing. If you're in a small team and want that more aesthetic, customizing page building experience, but don't need advanced features, Notion is probably the way to go. And if you're looking for more tips on how to improve your productivity, I would click this video right here.